Yo, what is up everybody, Carnage back here again, and today I think I may have just gotten uh, one of the best comic book uh, hauls I think I've ever had. But uh, before I get into mm, the action figure part, or the action figure, uh, the comic book part, uh, I do apologize if you do hear my roommate uh, in the back, he's playing video games. Uh, but I did pick up a phenomenal figure for a decent price, uh, that is the... Uh, Walgreens exclusive Silver Surfer got this for twenty dollars, which blew me away because it, originally it was like for twenty five. I asked the guy if he would, you know, go twenty on it. He was like, "Oh yeah, definitely," and I was like, oh, "Okay, did not expect that to work," because truthfully, I would have still bought it at twenty five. But I mean, like, like such a good deal, man. Like, can't go wrong with that. And I mean, I have been using the um. Uh, What's his name? The Fallen? Not The Fallen. Is it The Fallen? Whatever uh, the uh, uh, Black Silver Surfer is called. The one that's worthy of Mjolnir. I can't think of his name right now. But I have that one, and that one's been one I've been using for a while. But uh, anyway, finally happy I can upgrade that. Uh, and the... Uh, next thing I have up are the comics. Now, these first four I'm going to show, uh, the guy had a deal where it was uh, four comics for ten bucks. And let me just say, uh, the four books I picked up, definitely way more than the ten bucks. Like, this book I'm about to show is actually worth, like, ten bucks on its own. Uh, and that is Spider-Boy number one from the Amalgam Comics. And I've been really, really a big fan of the Amalgam books for a very long time. And I'm slowly uh, getting all the books to it. Uh, still missing uh, quite a few of them, but uh, slowly getting there. And we do have Bizarnage in the back, which is a combination of Carnage and Bizarro. Very weird, you know, combination of characters, but very excited about it. That was the first book I found and then like I'm gonna be going from like the smallest book to like s continuously bigger uh, for this uh, next up I have the Defenders issue number 17 uh, this is a, about a $50 book normally and let me just say it's a very clean copy too like very little damage to it uh, worst I'm seeing is like a couple spine ticks uh, it is kind of dirty on the front, but uh, other than that, like, very, very beautiful looking copy. Uh, this is actually the first cameo, first cameo? First cameo appearance of the Wrecking Crew, who we all know appeared in She-Hulk. Let me just say they were just, they weren't terrible, but they weren't great either. Uh, this next book is actually one I've been really, really trying to find for a while just because the cover was just so beautiful, man. Uh, that is The Invincible Iron Man, issue number 150. Uh, and this book, in high enough grade, goes for 180 bucks. And let me just say, I was super surprised to find it in, like, you know, this guy's, you know, books because he had them individually priced at three a piece or you know like the four for ten like i mentioned and this is mostly just a very uh, iconic dr doom cover uh from what i looked up and it does go for 180 dollars if it's like you know perfect condition but uh, this one does have kind of a really messed up spine and it does have quite few color breaking spine ticks but very, very cool looking cover, nonetheless. Uh, done by John Romita Jr. And the final book that I found for that uh, 4 for 10 deal, other than this last one that I found when I went back to the guy. Uh, but this one isn't a super huge book that I, I know of. I didn't look it up, but... Anyway, uh, uh, this is... 
Iron Fist issue number one, and this is the first ever uh, solo comic with Iron Fist in it. And, like, this one definitely is pretty beat up, because uh, it does have a major rip right in the top corner. Uh, quite a few uh, spine ticks, and it does have some weird, uh, like, damage on the cover itself. So it is definitely a lower grade copy, I will admit, but I did get this for $3, and this is about a $300 book, uh, if it's, like, pristine enough. Like, I'd say, it's, uh, like, in the condition it's in, I'd say it's maybe, like, 50 maybe. But either way, like, still way too good of a book just to be in a $3 min man. And then I went back uh, through his stuff just before I left, and this is a book I actually overlooked. Uh, this is Batman issue number 224, and I just really liked the cover. I didn't, you know, do anything else with it. I didn't, you know, see what's significant about it, but again, beautiful looking cover. Really do like it. Batman 224. And then this final, like, single issue comic I found, uh, I actually found a uh, little ways down uh, from where I found all that other stuff. Uh, and I know it says I got, it says $12 on the front, but I actually paid 5 for it. Uh, and that is Werewolf by Night, issue number 30. Only reason why I really picked this one up uh, just because I really liked how the cover looked. Also, I really do like werewolves. Uh, and he did also have a Tomb of Dracula book. I think it was like 51. Uh, but I truthfully prefer Werewolf by Night over Dracula, personally. And I just, like I said, beautiful looking cover. Really do like it. I really do like what they did with the moon as well. Right, and now going on to the final thing uh, that I picked up, and that is these graphic novels, which were one dollar a piece, I might add. Uh, this is actually the last thing I picked up, like this specific book, uh, was actually the last thing I picked up before I, you know, left, and that is Punisher Max number one, or volume one, I should say. And I'm a really big uh, Punisher guy, especially, like, for the, um, like, you know, like, Max, like, the Punisher Max series, like, such a good, good thing, man. Really, really excited to, uh, read this, because I haven't read a whole lot of Punisher Max. But I, I love the artwork, I love how gruesome and bloody it is, just from what I've seen online. And really excited to read that. And sticking with the Punisher theme, uh, I actually found uh, P the Punisher. This is a second printing, if I remember correctly. Um, yep, second printing. Uh, this is the first six issues of, you know, the Punisher solo series that they originally did. Or is this just the first five? This might actually just be the first five, now that I look at it. Was it a five? I thought it was a six issue one. Either way, it's like the first five issues of the uh, Punisher, you know, solo story uh, from like the 80s. And then the last one I picked up is something that everyone loves uh, when they read it, and that is The Watchmen. Now, I personally have never read The Watchmen. But I have been very tempted about it for such a long time just because I saw the movie and the movie was, like, I thought the movie was phenomenal. And very excited to uh, read this just because, you know, it was a dollar, which it shouldn't have been. Like, the guy originally bought this for $20, so he could have at least, you know, charged more for it, which, I mean, I'm not going to complain. I mean, I'm happy about this. Yeah, but anyway, uh, that's everything that I have for you guys tonight. Uh, so I just want to say thank you guys for watching, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. And I do promise that I will try to get better about posting my haul videos in the future.
But other than that, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.